call me to order, uh, like I said, right there, motion to get call me to order at 604. Second. Do you have any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, we'll call everybody here. Mike Paul Pong. David Dempsey. Are we presenting to Mike Samuel Brown. Mike Samuel. April. Oh, there's um, I'm not um, reading the previous many uh, meetings minutes. Thank you, Mark, very much for sending milk. Did anybody have any questions? I reviewed them, but I didn't find anything. So, I was trying to remember, but my brain didn't work. Not today, I'm anymore. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's like we missed it together. What we're supposed to do? Uh, Can you get it today? I make a motion to pass the minutes as written with the caveat that the person responsible for that get them out prior to the weekend before. I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to bust your charge for it because it wasn't that good. It's, I like what's going on. So, but the sooner the better. It just makes it easy. But thank you. Second. 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 Yeah. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Absence? I got the action item sitting up here. Um, do we want to go them, do them now or you want to do them at the end? I'd rather go and do them now if we just can get an idea what we can. I have the meeting, the minutes right here. All the action items are on that. What action? Then with the end of the email to board. She's looking at the minutes and saying oh, those actions. I didn't see that. Okay. okay. Um, unfortunately, they're really the only ones that were asked to do anything this week were Mariah, which we got to find out what's going on with her. We'll talk about yeah. it after. Yeah, Mariah sent me a note that she wasn't going to be able to come to the next meeting. So I circled back to her and asked her to send a note to Alan that I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah. I know my brother did tell me. No. Um, that goes to we can add in the other places if you want to talk about when you when you can make sure you want to say this today. Yeah. It's a company we haven't talked about today. Um, unless you were going to talk to the town administrator or determine if the assistant treasurer collector could provide support to facilitate and maintain the account. Uh, we'll have that too, but we'll go back to that. We're, uh, Working on a calendar. Looks like it's going to be some kind of Google calendar. It's either something like the people who came in here, or it's basically a hand, you know, um, a form like we have now, and you plug it into a calendar. So this spring is going to be baptism by fire. We're going to have to just kind of make our way through it and manually. Oh, shoot, I didn't print out the permit. We're supposed to tweak that. The application. So what we have to do electronically as you pull up? Yeah, it's on the town website. We have to tweak the um I'm on the town website right now. I think it's on the website. So we have to tweak the application to calculate the number of hours that they're requesting and to then multiply it by whatever rate they fall into instead of having that per, per player part. <coughs> Okay, I'm looking right now. Okay, right, playing field permit application. I can't, I don't have access to this one. And then is there a way that we can um, put a, a section how they fall, what category they fall into? Like this accelerator. So right now we have. Uh, league names, presence, present address, email, home, work, cell, number of teams, application date, name, address, email, home, work, cell, number of players, and the different fields. This is what you're referring to, right? Okay. So the bottom, that next part the down there. The fee schedule and requirements. Yeah. We have the town league, number of participants, sometimes $35. 
Right. That's the spots we need to change. Okay. So we have to put in something like number of hours requested. Yeah. Um, and then what category they fall into. You can almost just where I said right now you have the town league and the outside users, so they can just fill out which one eligible at that point and then just change the hours at that point. We just put in there also what the rate is we we would know whether but would they know the rate when they're filling out the permit? Because that's what they're asking. They're asking the person. Just for the number of hours times permit. six dollars an hour. Is that the rate they fall into? There's if they don't well, well that's why she said put in a checkbox. Category one, category two. Yeah, right. Yeah. Where they so that way they know the rate to be able to calculate their hours right on the permit. So when they submit the permit, you're right? talking this block right. here. All you gotta do is keep this here, change yeah. that to six and that to fifteen. And then you put right. the hours in here, wherever right. that line is, kind of jump a couple of times. And then one line for a total calculation. So yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. minor. We should you talking one box or something. Do that and scan me what your thought is. No. Because I have to submit it to her. Okay. Um, she also, they also asked her what the hours of operation were each day. Like, you know, the fields aren't open at 10 p.m. Well, they could be, could be that they, they are open. Yeah, our users wouldn't be, our current She's going to block out times on the calendar, I guess, when we have it open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Right, right. So, so uh, she's asking us to determine what those are. 8, uh, 8 to what? Eight to nine, eight to ten. Now we're seven, seven, seven in the morning. Good. Oh, eight in the morning, good. Yeah, eight, 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 eight. to eight. Eight to eight. I just say three. Oh wait. Yes. Um, no, some of the soccer teams are getting here at seven on weekends. Oh really? If they have a, if they have a seven o'clock or an eight o'clock game or a seven thirty game, they they want to be on the field. I don't know about that early. How about the first game started at eight? So all well, week, if they're starting, they do want to be there at seven. All week, seven thirty. Yeah. Okay. I love these go on the form, but in case there is, I don't foresee it uh, during the hours, the, the daylight hours that we have. So it can be extended if necessary. Yeah, we can take that one on one on one. Yeah. As we. It's almost like we can take a line in here, so the permit can be revoked for or whatever. Um, we can throw like the hours in there, just saying field operation hours are from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, any additional times are, are on a case by case basis. Case -by -case Do you have a board doc on this? I have a PDF. Gave you a PDF, right? Yeah, well, I was looking through this morning how we got it. Why is that not online? What, the application? No, that document. I have no idea. Well, it was the, I mean, of the one that went to the board of selectmen. It's all I got to reach out to. Yeah. Because it was the board of because that was the one that we had it's done. Even, it could be that it's just an acute death for you. I mean, that was one we did down at the public library. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's the policy, right? Yes. Yeah. It's the red PMD policy, right? Yes. So we are requiring all the normal stuff, um, you know, authorities, insurance. I told Lindsay to keep the number of the players in the rosters on there this way. While we try and work this out, mm -hmm. and I said it's going to be learning for us. It's going to be blowing yeah. hands, and we're going to have to figure it out. Nobody has approached her for an application yet, so I don't know if they get through email or they could just. Well, it could be that they get this one on the site, and then you're just going to download it. So we're going to swap it out. That doesn't make sense. And, and if it comes in through all of them, reach out to them. Yeah. Yeah. Apologize. So uh, I know lacrosse and soccer. Initial, uh, I'll just say across, initial uh, application for leave is due the first week of January. Registration, regular registration usually ends in December, so they have an idea of how many players they have at each level, which would then be determine how many um, fields and times they need. So they're trying to juggle all their stuff. 
before they leave the cell. And then there was the refund question, which it does say they have to pay half at the beginning of the season in that document. Yes, there's half has to have to come in with the application. Right. And the remaining prior to the um issue issuing the permanent permit. So there are no refunds. I we I thought we talked there wasn't any refunds. I said I I, no, 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 no refunds. If there is concerns, there might be um uh predicate to the the following uh tariff, the following the reason we didn't go with the with the refunds is because we went so low on the price. If we were going to start dealing with that, then we would have to charge more for it. And that's why we. The other thing is, well, are we going to block out a few times? Yes. Is my next question, so that right. if they need to reschedule, they have that ability. Mm -hmm. I think before we we block out, we can see what comes in. And if they fill it all up, it's it's at some point it's it's on you. We can't control the weather. So. That's kind of where we're at. She's prob probably going to have to do it manually for the spring and, and kind of get through these well curves. And uh, so, it sounds like we're going to do it in July or something. Yeah. Mike, the, the question for the action point that starts to come is we're, we're going to be able to do that here. Take on that role of doing the. That is, she's the um, assistant. Assistant collector, uh, treasurer collector. I don't think she's going to be able to take on the <laughs> scheduling of the calendar, but they're looking at somebody else from that town to do it. Okay. I think I think that it should be the same person because they can have the same team with the new button, which is her. Schedule it, but but we're going to let the town do it. It really takes thirty seconds. Um, They're going to find somebody to do it. Next on the list is Mark has been asked the town administrator to have the, uh, the police spend open meetings until further notice. Yes. Okay. I would move to Yes. Next. Mark requested DPW the placement of the Manta Field signs. I spoke to uh, Sam Tarrant about the Manta Field sign that's there. It's scheduled to go on Pepper Street when they have time to put it up. Um, taking the sign that's there and just the ideal you put it where the sign where the field numbers are. So there's like five or six people that I talked to about dogs and they were saying, Well, where's the sign? And I said, Well, it's over there on the street and there's one of them in the end. And like they can say, Oh, we'll take it to the police guy and like they didn't see the sign. Well, but the, the sign that's currently on the street Right in the parking lot, it's right there. Yeah. Eventually, you place that one so it's newer, cleaner, and all that. And they don't want dogs in the field. Correct. But these, we've had dogs in the field. These are people I'm talking to. There are some who use the application that have pictures of it mm -hmm. uh, from the cross well, that I came in. I don't know. Uh, I don't so know. if we can, well, all it takes is one or two less responsible dogs. They might bring their dogs to the games because yeah. they live there. They're not supposed to, or they can bring them, but they have to walk them. Let, let me ask you a question regarding that. Is it possible within our budget to purchase a couple of um, dog waste facilities? Uh, a post and a, we and looked into that. The town administrator felt that the thought was that send them on the, you would then go dog in the field, but they'd be putting waste up there. But can they bring the dogs? The can, can they bring the dogs to the to the facility, but just not let them on the field? Can they bring them for the walking area well, or the parking lots? Yeah, yeah, right. So my thing is, if we put one or two of those, I tried to get one downtown in the middle of up, uh, Plum Island. But they have it. We talked about it, but it's it's just a post with a yeah. Yeah. canister on it, and, uh, and it's just. Right? Yeah. 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 Where would you want it? Would we want it? No, no. Plum Island. It would probably be. I would put it, I would put it by the gate. Right by the gate. Yeah. So when the way in the back. Uh, behind the field house. So the so field house the gates gate. right there. I'd put it to the right hand side, not the left, because the right hand side that serves other people. Here's, we're completely two different issues. The people are walking the dogs. 
um, just getting down the back. Mm -hmm. For this, we had a piece of gum for there open so that they would let the six inches go up to about your seven so they could dispose of it. So that would sort of defeat the purpose of having the gum for there over the house. Okay, and then you have to have duty calls, and I think the town mayor, uh, administrator said $4,600 for yeah. the summer. That would, that would cost to do that. Well, we got the dumpster right there. The issue, um, what I see is arbitrary could throw an island number, or I can't prove it anyways, but I'd like to believe that 90% of the people, 95% of the people are good about it. They walk your dog, they never did I swear to you guys. Uh, yeah, there's I a couple that. people who think it's okay because nobody else is using She's using the facility. It's empty. It's not like when kids are using a field here or there. It's empty midday. And if we move signage into a place where it's very clear, and maybe working with the town administrator or somebody, and if there's an article in the paper or articles in the paper, or the police are aware that dogs aren't supposed to be there. I, I know there's uh, no leash law in town, but there is concern about this problem. Right. Well, it's just like Palm Island. Dogs are allowed on the beach certain times. You're not but, allowed in the summer. Well, do like we need to do that? Dogs do are not allowed on the field. That's just yeah, the way it is. So, but see, my understanding is if they if dogs are on Plum Island on, on August 1st, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to, the owner can get a ticket, correct? Right. What is the town? Uh, it should town? be the same penalty. For well, it, because I don't know if it's been enacted as such or if it's a recommendation that's been put on the side so you know dogs. Well, we have town wide fines. Right. So if right. the dog is not doing what it's supposed to do anywhere on town, no, well, no, are you talking about dog defecation or dog peeing in public? Both. Yeah. There's a poop and scoop law. And, and that, that's different than because you, you have to see that the dog did it. And I'm saying the person's out there throwing the ball playing catch with the dog. On the field? On the field. He could be fine. Then we need to, then I. It should say it on the. On the it side. Doesn't say it, it, say on the side? it says no dogs allowed on the field. <laughs> that's all it says. All right, I'll ask if it could be fine. And if not, maybe that's something we go to, to, to enforce it. Well, I, I think we do need to check because I think if there's a there, there's a bylaw in the town of regarding dogs, of regarding dogs being on properties when certain properties when they're not supposed to be, and, and dogs defecating throughout the whole town, um, that should be something that, whether it's on yeah. the fields or it's on the beach we or whatever. Make, so. We don't pass bylaws. For certain parts of town, not for others. Right, that's it's what I'm saying. It's a town meeting. It's the whole thing. Right. So what is the what's the what's the bylaw about? It's just. I want to say it's a fifty dollar fine for the first attempt. For what? Who? Or dogs dog. on the beach? Oh, okay, but, dogs on the beach. So yeah. that's the beach. But this isn't a beach. It's well, the field. No, but it's so I'll say dogs that we're not allowed to be. Yeah. I'm gonna ask. You said it's not enough. Right. I, I would be surprised if they would. Now, whether it's enforced is another issue. So then that's what that's just yeah. I would think you See, I think, the, I think the same, and I agree with you that it's enforceable throughout the whole town, not just at the beach or anywhere right. else. Because one of the things that I was asking for before was a leash law in the town on Palm Island, at least, because I do think it's required. You know, it's you want to pass the town hall, town meeting, just put up a leash and we leash the well, dog. The pro that, and what happened was I was told the problem is you just can't put a leash law on Palm Island, besides the whole town of Newberry. Right. You know, and I think my, my, my conversation was if I let my dog out on Plum Island and he goes 20 feet from my house, he's going to the bathroom on somebody else's property. If I let my if somebody over in Byfield lets their dog out 30 feet from the house, it's probably still on their property or close to, you know, right. it's just a whole different configuration of, of the, the congestion of the properties. It makes it, you know, and I was told you can't just do a leash law on Plum Island right. inside of the whole town and it's never going to happen. <laughs> so that's not what I'm saying, no, yeah. but that's what I was, you know, yeah, basically. That, yeah, you know. we just want to pass it, pass town meeting, put everything on that agenda about dogs. Yeah. Yeah. The next two on the list were your solution. One was uh, we'll speak with the town administrator about recycling, namely, can DPW do it, or what are the costs? It would not be DPW; it would be Mellow and then we need to bring the recycling. So what was that? Recycling. Recycling. So, who did I have a conversation with? Who said that recycling is going to sell some of this? Oh, me. It is. I think one or two. What's that? It's not. All right, so the whole. No. The 
The okay. whole thing about recycling right now is they don't recycle anymore. There's no country that's taking it. There's barges circling the globe that are filled with trash. It's very sad if you think, think about it. I'm going to the National Security Council Association meeting in January, and we're going to have a conversation about this because even when you decide to separate your recycling, now that you post it, especially in your report, they mix it all together and throw it out. At the other end, right. Yeah. It ends because up there's all not, the same. There's no market. The market is completely collapsed. So unless you're going to do something like the people make, uh, think about the plastic bottles and make, you know, rub, uh, make masks out of it or something, that right. would be a niche market. Right. But as far other, as mass right. collecting recyclable, it's not happening. Right. Like all the tires, recycling tires, when you see a, 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 a game in an, on an AstroTurf or on a turf field, those little black pellets that fly up every time they slide along the field, those are all recycled tires. Those are all tires. <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I agree. I mean, I think all the same thing. You go through all the process, and when it gets to the other end, it just ends up in the same incinerator or it ends up in the same point. Yeah. I assume that aluminum, metal, and glass is still viable recycling. Because I know metal is. Um. Possibly, but it, it's shifting so quickly. But just Google it, and it'll tell you the nature of it. But she didn't rec recommend. Um, I think to, to address that issue, because uh, the majority of the stuff that we throw in, that I've seen are the sport bottles and water bottles, mostly water bottles. If we could find a better way, and we've talked about this. Uh, to enhance using uh, water water fillables, fillables and get a system either inside the building or outside the building, like I see at the YMCA's where you just put your jug in there and it fills up as opposed to a fountain drink that's in there now. So this goes yeah. back. Um, we talked about the dumpster. And she looked up the the town administrator looked up the duty calls, and it ran two to three hundred dollars a month from June to August on the island, which is the weekly thing. And that's a place they they pick up the waste. Broad so waste. They yeah. So we have like you said, Mark. We already have the dumpsters where people are using. So in our case, it you know, just a box with the. Uh, and they have those in Newburyport Park where it's just. The backs. So we have another no question. So the you guys wanted to place a lock, a combination lock yep. with metal dumpsters in the winter yep. to avoid large dumping of large items. Yep. Um, but there is enough room to raise the lid and dump small trash for yes. the dog waste. So why do you want to spend money on the duty calls to make a nice quick we, we yeah, that's, what, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We okay. have, I mean, but the original part of the conversation is that ten percent. We said 90% probably does it, but 10% aren't. Those are the ones we're concerned with, the ones that leave it. And having, I don't feel that having a, the outfit there with the bag and stuff gonna is, is going to change right. that. I, I do want to, so since we're circling back there, I apologize. It would be the animal control officer who would be responsible for enforcing that. And it is in section 56 2 enforcement. Schools, playground, parks, or public recreations are included in the uh, areas of your. Animal control officers authorized to require owner to pick up the dogs or spend the dogs from running at or large, at large in schools. So, obviously, is it possible for you to talk to the animal control and do spot checks up in that uh, natural field and address that issue? So, I have to go through the jeep. I have to go okay. through the basement and then the jeep. Okay. So, do you want them to spot check what? The uh, Center Street Field. I, I guess having the police and more importantly the animal control just be aware and take a look at that property because it is in our bylaws. And you want them to spot check it for dog waste? No, no. Dogs running freely. Three, no, okay. Un Unleashed dogs. Are you getting complaints about this at all? The, the complaint is from when soccer or lacrosse finds dog crap on it. Okay. And but, but you have been. The, the no, no. Yeah, that part, yes. Okay. Yeah, I have pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, the next one is, and this is really, how are we doing with the ice skating rink? Because that's, the question is if the, the fire department can help fill it. I didn't, one. it hasn't gone before the board of selection yet, so it would have to be to go 
All right, so before we go any further on that, just to deflate everyone, um, we, as the Recreation Committee, the way it's set up right now, the only thing that we can get money for and do is Mantra Field situations. We can't do yoga. We can't do, unless, we, unless there's someone that pays to have uh, or a person in the, in the uh, we can't do the library thing. Yeah. Library is out. The ice skating rink is out. I went to find out what the status was today, and it went through uh, the town and county, and the way that it's set up. The account? The revolving account? Yeah. All right, yeah. The revolving account um, is only functioning around Mantra Field. So okay. the, what she said was everything that comes in from the user group goes back into... So they don't want the way they count it up is just everything that's generated by Mantra Field needs to be spent on Mantra Field. So yeah, so we're, so we're well, the recreation was the recreation committee for Mantra Field. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. wait a second. Can I just back up here? Yeah. There's two questions there. Number one is, I don't know if it means Mantra Field or the Central Street Recreation Center, Central Street, Central Street Recreational, Recreational yeah. Environmental Resource Area. Yeah. Right. Encompasses a and, lot and more. That's exactly Two, it. does that also not include Kent Way, the property behind this building but next to the library? Because both of those were purchased by the town uh, practically the same time in 2000. Is it, both of them have the sole purpose of recreational activities. Well, Wait, it's, it's not so much that she understands that we want to do more. But because of the Massachusetts laws right now, the way that they're set up, we have the whole um, recreation area out there. So what she said at this point, what we should do, we talked about having everyone have their little wish list for. Yeah. So she said that, you know, write that list up. And then what you can do at that point is um, we're going to engineer. They'll pay, the time will pay an engineer, it won't come out of our budget to do the, um, put, you know, place the basketball hoop, a basketball court, boom, 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 boom. And we'll have like a, a specific plan that's already been designed for that, things that we have on our, on our, on our list of wants. And the yeah. other thing. So just that. Just me. Just field. Right field. Or not meant to field, but the, right the field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, central field, field yeah. central street fields. So the other part about it is that we can go, if we have, Things like you know, we want to do the ice skating rink or the yoga and all these things. We have to bring it, have a list, a wish list, bring it in front of Tracy, and Tracy would go to town meeting with that bump, 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 and SBS out of it. So, so town meeting would have to create a separate fund. It would be a separate line item for the for each, for each, each yeah. of those items. Don't we have a don't we have a budget from the town separate from the funds that we raise from Mantra Field? Or is that where our budget comes from? That's where our budget comes from. And it's, a, it's a Massachusetts law. And that's, right. that's why, that's that's why it falls under the law. If the town submitted and gave us a $50,000 budget to work with as a recreation committee, and then we had separate funds that came from Mantra Field, you could use the line items from the town giving you the budget right. and then use the Mantra Field money just for Mantra Field. And that would, would, would circumvent that, so that, that we're not there yet. Well, right, well, right. Can we just stop for a second? Yeah. You're right on, you're right on. Last January, and you'll get it again this January, the spending plan, which we've been struggling with, this is why we need to have a spending plan in January for the next year. This right. whole past year that we're still working on, what we're looking at, this is all like an exercise. For next year, now that we've had these conversations. You guys got hit with a lot of things. You have policy that you didn't like, you have field policy that, that That's all, that's, you have, yeah. I mean, it's all, right, but you did it. Right, Those right. are huge hurdles. Right now, this whole past year, since last January, mm -hmm. till now, we've been struggling with the budget, the, the spending plan, discretionary plans, et cetera. That was all put in to get us so that this year, coming into 2000 and uh, 21, 21, 20, um, we'll be, we'll be going. So by January, when that letter comes from the town administrator, you'll be able to fill it out within one meeting and submit it to her before February. Yeah. And we'll be able to get, 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 
Right. So this has all been an exercise for us to do what we need to do to act. Well, just to spend your time with an idea of what we're, we have both our, the, our budget of uh, revolving costs and what we have, what mm -hmm. we our one time costs, and, and what we want to do, and how much money people are going to have, and we can start doing things. So, so the, the other thought is. Um, I don't know if they, if it, it's the recreation committee, the way it's set up right now, the town is, we're just making it as far as Central Street feels. Well, I think you had a charge. Yes. I and, think the and charge that's... was not just made for you. Correct. So as far as the Board of Selectmen goes, you have been in charge with looking at recreation activities to start last. But we can't. We can't but as far as monies go, because of the confines of the Massachusetts General Laws, that's going to stay with Nancy Field. Like she's but yeah. there's way to address it. The other part is if somebody came in and said, I want to support yeah. this activity and I'll give you $2,000 and it's approved by the board of selectmen, you can use that money. Yeah, gifts, would, yeah, if, if there's someone who so, comes up with a gift, she said, no problem with that. Yeah. So the idea is get our house in order about what we want in terms of additional spending and that field related mm -hmm. and then you can, you can ask for that money. At different now, levels. Again, remember the way town government works is that the board of selectmen and the town administrators do not spend the money. No. Town meeting spends the money. Yep. So we can recommend, we can put it on the warrant, we can do stand up, we can do everything else, but if it's not approved in town meeting, we can, it's just not going to happen. Can we bring it back to town meeting? It's better. Um, or or it keep, it, keep it very succinct. And, and it, it may be eventually. We have the, the rec committee right now. There may be, instead of rec committee, there will also be a recreation commissioner or something like that. That will be, yeah. Well, that will be in charge. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Right now, the town is just, I don't know why, but for many years, for many years, the needs of the town of Newbury were deferred and not addressed. And it's coming home to roost. So the current board of selectmen is, is most members of the current board of selectmen are moving, want like to move the town to continue to move forward and address the needs of the rest of the town to move forward. Get them solved. Um, I know they want recreation opportunities in town. They do. They say that it is needed. So it's just a matter of getting all these Moving the very forward. Town Hall is a big one. Back in Penny Island, there are another big one. Uh, after those two things, I mean, we can start looking at it. Well, it, we can get it back. You know what I mean? I, I don't think this is an easy either or in terms of, again, in basketball, it is a large ticket item, but some of these programming issues we're talking. No, that could be solved. That, that could be easily solved. Yeah, small piece. And then people can start seeing what we're doing. Right. And then it's a lot easier for them to say, oh, they got this happening here, this happening there. Different ages are being addressed. A little bit easier and a little bit easier to swallow. We used to have a rec program. Okay. Right. And yeah. Sorry. Yeah. When I was up to the <laughs> For now, but they kind now of the question is, guess what our next going. charge is going to be? Find a way to I get us in charge of the town. Oh, yeah. Sure. I think well, before we even had time administration. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to bother you with the action items because they're, they're falling around the skating um, and the spending plan in regard to getting enhanced the areas such as tables and benches for volunteers to undertake. So we can still discuss that, but I'm not really worried about this. With it. The one thing was this, when I wrote you the uh, note about the spending plan, it was spending plan form. The last couple of weeks, I did uh, hand out people this form. Going forward, it's similar to what you would have capital planning, so that when we have proposals, we have a written documentation of what we're doing, not just a verbal that we can 
and it's pretty self-explanatory for dealing with somebody. It's new equipment displacing something, uh, uh, enhancing something, it's programming, etc. So that we can have a very succinct display. If you want, I can send it. Uh, I'm proud for that. Would be great. Yeah. But if we can prove that again, this is getting everything set up for the next step. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it, it was just deflating because, you know, I went knock on the door and figure out what my next step was, and I was like, yeah, there's no next step. And I talked to people downstairs, like, we're really looking forward to having skating in the library. Like, it was like this, this thing. You know what else when you do, and you're sitting there talking about water temperature, you get lots of people down there So, it's quite Again, well, I, I, I think the other thing, too, is that we're so late in the frost situation. Yeah. Trying to put yeah. the oh. stakes down in and getting that yeah. thing done. If, if we were sitting here and we were talking about this and it was back in October, it would be a different story. But yeah, it is. You know, we get stakes to the ground after this past weekend. <laughs> Maybe after this weekend, but the next couple of days, we're going to have some, you know, 20 degrees. It's usually, degrees. it's usually like mid to seven. Right. Yeah. Summer, it's summer, January. Summer, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have that yeah. in the freeze. Yeah. 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 So even if the first just didn't get it ready, we probably wouldn't have it. We probably wouldn't be starting until sometime the first or second week of January, this late. So. Yeah. And that's okay. This is we get all that documentation together. So September when we submit in September, January. It's better because we, we didn't buy it yet because then well one we got a lot of questions, but it just couldn't have done anymore. Well they would have stopped. So what can we do with the funds that we have? We uh we need, well I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but there's a lot of things we can do like the water fountain, like the A and B. All right, so I'm gonna go back into all businesses quick, which should not take long. Uh, the key is an emotion sensor. Ryo was looking at that, so we're going to have to jump on that. I will reach out to Susan to see if I can pick up that piece. Um, According to Central Street, I met with Lisa Mead last Monday. We had a good conversation. Um, we're going to. I'm going to put together um, some notes from that, and I'll give that to everybody for next month. But we have to also look at sponsorships not gifts she's checking the wording on some things we can do sponsorship but we have to make announcements whether it's on the, the town website or in social media the newspaper something yeah. it's got it's got to be out to everybody so everybody has the opportunity to do it right and then we have to sign oh, kind of, do different level sponsors? yes yes i was thinking i mean and then the question is how long do you keep up there there's one thing that um would tell me is making sure you you tap at least it said to me is make sure there's a there's an end date. So you don't say you can keep up there for eternity. Because what happens you can feel the, the court down, we do it like oh no my name stays up there, didn't it? So we need to either base the the sponsorship based on time or a combination of a sign and a long. Did they gave it this is the institute is saving the stadium, I think the three thousand yeah. Until two years because of the money that we didn't have yet. Yeah, and that probably always why they allowed to do it. Here it's like you can put, I mean, mm -hmm. you can bet, try to use basketball getting it at Williams of Possible give us a donation. A, an unnamed um, town member wants to do the same thing. That's a great, so we have an idea, but and it's a question of how, how much we can do it. So, but we got to get the announcement out. It's got to be approved by the town before it can even go out. Um, and then once we do it, we're just saying, here's the offer. And this is what we're going to do. And when we do it as an ad in the paper, talk to someone from the paper to say, hey, we'd like to have it set, get an article put together, interview somebody, kind of work through it, whatever, and get the word out there saying, this is kind of what we're going to do. And we go from there. What's our ability or, or I mean, legal ability to go and start talking to people and soliciting, soliciting that prior to? I don't think we have to wait until after. After what? After the announcement. I think we have to do I'm waiting for feedback from her right now to determine a couple of things on the legalities of what we can well, do. Well, I think you need to figure out what your your parameters are first. Right. Well, I mean, that's something we're going to have to decide here, but we also have to draft our document and what we want to send out uh, to make sure we're all clear and then get it passed through her so that there's nothing in there that we can worry about. I wouldn't yeah. ask anybody for any money at all until she gets she gets the yeah. 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 Like, look what happened with the other thing. We thought we were all ready to go to put a nice statement. And I was telling her, I was like, you're getting a nice statement. And I would understand. We didn't say when. No, 
<laughs> well, I think there's two other steps. You know, that's why I hope we can say we, we hit the frost and we couldn't install it, so we put it off till next year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there's a couple other steps involved. Number one is public use. So any signage that goes on at the upper green has to come before the board for approval, and that's temporary signs. Right. So that has to be done as well as uh, Board of Zoning has to get yeah. in the signs. Yeah, the sign, sign. Sign. That's, that's, so that was the last thing on my list. I don't know if I know what we're going to come out. So. Um, so we need to see if that is happening. I don't know if it's something that it's just the Board of Selectmen decide on. Oh, the town sign law, no, the town sign by law is sand. So the building is going to be Yeah. 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 Um, but this putting the signs up, like on the green when you have four or three separate greens, that has to come before the board of selection. No, but those are temporary signs. We're looking at permanent, more permanent signs. These would be permanent signs at the, court, at the court itself, on the court itself. Whether or on the round of permanent, or do you want Well, no, not permanent, but I mean ones that are there for an X amount of the designated period. Is this going to be like a final? Most likely, we, that's our decision how we want to handle it. Yeah. I, I, I think so. It is. We need to figure out what the size of some of the pre work would be, determining what the sizes would be, and how much money. Because if, if we're only going to make $20,000 out of the whole $200,000 of it, I, I personally would rather have no signs and go to the town and ask them for that extra $2,000. Or if we're only getting five thousand. I mean, having done this with a couple other groups, people don't want to spend ten thousand dollars for a sign, a targeted sign. That's a lot of money. Um, well, I would. Let me see if I can ask Brian what he's getting for to say you're going to have all of this. It's like it could be they tried this and they just didn't get any signs. It's a question. Then you're talking. Big ticket item. Someone's not just going to own only up hundred thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars. They sell sponsorship. I, I don't know what the town. I, I believe it's been grandfathered in signs that are done for modification ball field, and they haven't changed. That was one thing the town administrator talked about us eventually taking over that. So it's kind of like, you know, having whatever, instead of being right now where we're in charge of the field and that's it, to be like the, what we talked about before. Yeah. Let's start looking at the other fields. So we'll well, field. That goes but to yes. the question that I asked Alicia. If our charge is beyond Central Street for the recreation property, which again, Tenant Way was purchased in 2000, yeah, 2000, at the same time. I think it was part of the same bond. Well, actually, before. The Kent Way, I think, was a donation from uh, Mrs. Pearson. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, Mrs. Pearson donated the baseball field, and she this is uh, she lived on the other side of the river. She didn't live in she lived near the stump. She owned all that land out there. And um, I think before she died, she donated it to the town. Could be wrong, but that's what I remember. That's why it's Pearson Ball Field. And she's, yeah. Yeah, she's, um, she's quite the nice lady down there. So. so that's where we stand. So I will put together some notes and feedback once I get it from Lisa to um, everybody and we'll look at next month to see. So we're really at a point where we're implementing the calendar, getting that going, yep. working on the spending plan, but it's to go before the board of selectmen yep. and working on the basketball court. That's a big one. And we need to get the, the sheet updated. Yeah, the policy. Mm -hmm. Not the policy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. 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 That's the action item. That's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I think we should also <coughs> do a mark while putting stuff? together. Um, a wish list and a spending plan so that we are ready to present our you know our future endeavors yeah. such as an ice skating rink or yoga or things like that so that the town will approve get yeah, that out. the town approves it for right. budget time. And, and I would think about putting together a, a slideshow. Bring that before town meeting. This is what we want to do. This is why we want to do it. This is what we need. And yeah. 
and did it last the year at the events. Oh, you did last year? Yeah, you did one more. She said, Tracy said three times she had a good time. Oh, yeah, that's what I said with you. Three times. Mm -hmm. First time, you did not have a Second time, Father had a Third time, they got the DJ approved. So it was good to think about it. So it may not be this year, but next year, I think. So, but, you know, with that in mind, there are things that we can make uh, important contributions to the field with the remaining funds that we have. The Life is aging, and there's some town administrators in the group that we have two people who can provide trainings for it. And, and we talked about the affordable water fountain thing with a couple of thousand. We do have the money to do that. That would address some of the recycling concerns we have. Trying, at least. I would stay away from recycling. No, no, no. Yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. if you're going to provide that water, yeah, you uh, can fill up your, fill, your fill it up. water bottle. That would reduce, and that would, that would be because I know a lot of parents would be very happy to use that versus the $2 that our, um, yeah. if somebody decides to take us <laughs> on our offer to uh, sell concessions and put in their stuff for that. When I get back from Brian, I probably won't do that because I just have a little question. Um, I'll have to send an email out to everybody. <laughs> I'm not responding to that right now. Um, the online calendar we've already mentioned. The signs, Mark's already mentioned. Uh, yoga, unfortunately, right now we're, we're stuck in the service. Yeah, what do we tell the library? Uh, I've already been there where the, the friends means... of the library will be uh, funding the entire amount. So they will go through with it, which will give us ample data to show, hey, this is. This is a program that's already attracted this many people. This would be a better use of uh, recreational funds than. Yeah, big deal change. So, um, and then so, I would say, one we need to look at our next meeting to find a day. Um, bills. Uh, oh, I haven't got that part yet. Bills, bills and claims. So. So I went and picked up this month's bills and I will reconcile everything and then get it submitted December 26th is the next warrant date. So our we don't have a meeting to come on. No, I can sign. Oh, you said you don't want it. I can sign. So it's the same thing. It's the janitor and the books. Um, the janitor is concluded. Yeah, that's the question. Is the janitor concluded at that? We know. Done. I mean, well, she, well, when I talked to she has kids. Yeah, I, I asked him to do one final cleaning uh, in a few weeks ago. One final cleaning, and that that we have stopped to stop it now. So, so we have an invoice for through November. I believe I, I think that's when we last went in. We can look to see there's one more. In November, and then we have. What was the date on that one? The last um, service. Eleven thirty. So I think that would be it then. And who who do you talk to the cleaning people, or is that DBW? That's DBW. So mm -hmm. okay, so. I emailed them and say if they could get them to stop it, and Tracy said they know they know the fund. Yeah, so I just have to reconcile that. My bad. Okay. Oh, it's tiny. I have well. This is yours. Your fault, by the way. Um. So well, I have my one. I have every night that we get that. So right now. Our we're actually we are at two days and it's doing a lot more leaving. Um, we have duty calls. What do you want me to do about duty calls? Nothing. Talk to the animal uh, town administrator, to the chief of police, to the town. Let's set check central street field for dogs only. And yeah, I don't understand. The fines for dogs are on two of those lines. That's okay. all the policy for the field use. Yeah, if you can get that, that was one we voted on in Board of Selectmen. Give me a second. 
My two are um, reach out to students about the keys and motion center and to update you on the court, basketball court and stuff that I have to miss. Thank you for the calendar. And I'm helping with that, so I don't know if I I end up finding new stuff to Could you see yours again, please? You can print off the one there and then mark it out the day of. And then you can give me a And then we'll fix it. Okay. All right. Finding notifying the guard or the field applies. It does. Right. I mean, I just earlier I read the uh, statute. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I don't have to find the notifying. You don't need to notify. Okay. What we're asking is, is for you to, to check the regularly and please force it. Okay. Spot check center street field for draws on leash. Uh, and and does yeah. Kent Way fall under our at this time does Kent Way fall under our jurisdiction? The way it was the way it was written, it was just um, it was very that specific. Yeah. I know that that came up in all the news articles before we were we were yeah. attached our group. Yeah. Exactly. It was just as field maintenance and capital expenses for them. <laughs> I think, I think, I think the field which Park Street field. Did we ever talk about that? Did we ever see plans for that? Did we ever no. look at anything like that? Well, yeah. well at least I think we have plans to do things. Yeah, we have theirs. We have Learn. Yes. yes. The town has plans. I have copies of it. Celine has copies of it. Yeah. Uh, EPA stuff had, had the uh, conservation commission stuff had been completed. Yeah. They, they've expired the. Um, where can be yeah, it have to be done again. Would have to be done again, which the administrator had indicated there's monies to do that out yeah. of their budget. Yeah. Um, so what would you be looking to do with that? Do for well, the, the initial plan put out by baseball years ago was two field, two baseball field parking, um, and a sort of an open yeah, basketball court. That's what it's what it's supposed to be. Um, right now it. We could redesign it to include another field, so field there up there, and I'll, I'll find it first. Um, if the fields are in, we don't want to use the fields because they're too nice. It's not irrigating this way, it's just a thing for the behind the trident. We have we have extra fields, so we could take so, it there. It could baseball could use it. I wouldn't necessarily have fences around it. Maybe a four or five year state project for initially for parking. The big thing is right now with Blue Week uh, on certain days, if you're a patron of the library, you may not find parking. Right. So the idea is put parking in first for the 20 cars and reserve areas in the parking lot for library patrons only. And then clear out the field again uh, years ago. You, you could have said that might be hard to take in a big space. By just clearing it and chipping it, yeah, it can't be. Yeah, but it would be as time as time is available. That's that's fine. This is a five year project, and then depending on the needs of baseball and the, the other recreational activities, just redesign the fields. So if we're putting a basketball court up there, then that's great. If not, maybe another place to put it where uh, it, it might be more advantageous. I can ask the baseball people. What they want. Mark. Do you think so? The attorney? No, it was a physical therapist. Right, but they're the experts that are probably going to be doing the attorneys. What do they do? Um, Austin? Yeah, I asked them to come before the rest of the meeting because, you know, we need to talk about it. Okay. They, they, they've been met. Thank you. All right. Did you say a podium? I don't think so. Unfortunately. Yeah. They, they've been involved with the uh, upper grant. Nobody ever ended up. Right now, we're, they're not using any space. That the town, other than the, uh, they get the permit to use the upper grain. Just the upper grain. Well, who has the, who, who manages the field by the library? The, yeah. the, this is the problem. They have their own government this, body. This is the yet. issue that you could, it's a well, town. I don't think they can. The they town has four or five um, properties that are publicly used for events for four or five different. Administrators. 
It's not closing. And she's. What's the account number of her? Like, it's just right away. So, so yeah, when I say see you like that, you're saying it's because you yeah. have a better idea of the timeline of the application process? Or what? I'm going to just turn it down. I'm just kidding. I'm looking for input. Sorry. If I don't answer, then I'll get back to you on a text message. Oh. No, with this is. No, I'm just right. saying, for you, you yelled at me the other night in the restaurant. So, That's all of you. Yeah. Uh, but you yelled at me. I cried. Because you were there. Because I cried. You turned up one time. Okay, so uh, then back to Brian. That's quick. You know, we stared completely away at that. This meeting is just a mess. It's been dead set against it. It can get complicated. It can drag. We just don't want to come back. I just want to get it. Yeah, but then you say you you can advertise that we don't like what you sell. That's the question that we have to have guidelines regarding what we can do. Bob Romeo there. Well, that's that's the problem. I think we should have one of those jewel company signs. Yeah, smoking cessation. There you go. We've got to we've got to have the opportunity. It's got to be open to everybody, but it's got to be. We have to have guidelines on what's what's allowed. Is that the right? It's going to have to contain it. These things. I, I, but I think that's where Brian's probably saying that like, you run into some extreme. Is it, is it worth because it? Because whenever you start to make discretionary decisions about appropriate or not appropriate, I think that's when people become offended and that's when you get problems. I think that someone said that there's always going to be someone's going to come, no matter what it is. Oh, of course it's. Yeah. yeah. So. Right. So I think at the end of the day, the juice work is beef. All right. Anybody else have anything to add? If not, we're just going to schedule our next meeting. Oh, this is where we started the, the meeting off with. Unfortunately, with Mariah having oh, in the have... process of right now with five that. members, we have to have three. If we go to six, we have to have a minimum of four. I'll be honest with you, I'd rather keep, I'd rather get the number to seven if we can do it. Um, but try and find two more people that want to join well, the committee. I would, again, one of our representatives, it should be, uh, as we have in our, in our rules, um, a high school student. And we haven't done any aggressive outreach to, I mean, I've talked to, who's this, who's this head of um, guidance? Karen Christian. No. Uh, so, um, Kristen used to be the no, no, no. Who gives her the no? Oh, oh, Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan, Megan over. Um, a couple of years back. But we have, we haven't followed through. We haven't done anything. Uh, we haven't asked the board of selectmen to put. So that. even if you get a Triton student, so you married Yeah. And um, I don't. Under the age of 18, I don't think they could vote. Yeah, why not? It would be a non-voting member. No, our laws say they can vote. There's no law saying they cannot be part, they cannot vote for the president, they cannot vote for a municipal election because it's not a municipal election. Well, it's, it's not a municipal election. Either. It's a municipally appointed be, committee. Yeah, and I think it could be but, 18 to make a, to, to make a contract. The town council already approved our charter. Yeah, but I don't know if it's. I got it. It's it's in 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 our. If you go to our website, it's on there. Yeah, I believe it's on there, but it could be a. a my, my experience with high school students serving on boards or board of selectmen or city councils and things like that is it's a great idea, but the problem is is that. They either change every year or every two years, so you have a new person in all the time. So there, there's no real more consistency of it. Uh, maybe I think you know we could talk to the athletic director. Um, I would like to see maybe the athletic director serve on the sports advisory commission. And, um, that might be something that might be beneficial for us to really try to see what's going on there. It's something that other athletic organizations can do. The problem with the student again is that you might get one that's really does a great job and. 
he or she all of a sudden graduates and they're gone. And then there's a new one comes in. And it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a learning curve for them and there's a process. And by the time they really, you know, learn the process and become part of the, the active part of the committee, they're gone. And it's, um, there's, a, there's a lot of turnover with that. The school committee has a student rep. Yeah. So they don't vote. They give a report, they listen, and they, they bring provide it back, feedback. Right. They bring it back to the school news in the morning and right. things like that are put on there. At the same point, uh, all schools are, are asked to submit a student to a student advisory council to the state right. board of education, so, which is a voting member. Every school has been invited to send somebody to do a retreat in August. Yeah, there's well, turnover yeah. every year, right. but if we do not, how do we expect our young people to be engaged in um, civics. civics if we don't invite them and, and put up, build up? If it's, right. If it's one kid, yeah, that's going to be a term, or maybe a two-year term. Yeah, it has to be a junior. It has to be a junior. Right. Or, junior. 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 Right. or it could be a right. sophomore or a friend. The way we grow it, it was that anybody, at any Newberry resident <coughs> in school, they could be homeschooled, they could be going to prep. But well, they wouldn't be, well, nobody signs warrants for the senior, right? They wouldn't be allowed to no. sign warrants. They, they could sign off giving her, giving whomever, actually, Selena Pan might have the uh, authority to do that uh, in the absence of Selena. But they are only one person out of the seven to vote. Well, I think it's a great idea to have them engaged in, in uh, town involvement and also to help to maybe educate them in civics because. Civics isn't being taught in high school at all anymore, yeah. anyway, so they're not learning any other way. Um, and I think it's a great idea, but I just wanted us to be familiar with the fact that it's a process that, you know, turns you know, over. Right. And, it turns and they, over. And depending upon how engaging the student is, yeah. they may want it, but then they may not come. So well, yeah, that's, that's, they they may not that is a small price they may not be driving. They may need a ride. Well, that, that's for them to figure out. Yeah. Again, we've no, already no, proved right. this. The town's already proved right. this. So the question is, yeah. So that they can get the answer. Yeah. So the, 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 what I was getting at is, we haven't done any outreach to them on a very formal basis. For example, asking uh, the board of selectmen to put a call out that they do for other committees to fill that slot, which is going to be vacant for almost two years. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend going through the school itself. But then we got to open it up for all these. I'll tell you why we don't get a response. Well. It, Perhaps not, but the idea is putting it out to the public as well that this committee yeah, I is. I can generally cover it. We cover it in the board meeting, so put it in the paper. Yeah, that, that would be. That would be we, we still need. We still need a member and a student, so we're still down a member. I. I so mean, think a five committee member can be one as well. If we have problems with schedules and okay. stuff, all of a sudden now we're now you're going to have people making decisions because we're very fortunate we have people there all the time now. Well I think I think going from my experience, um, when you get when you have a higher quorum quorum member to reach, it's more difficult to get a meeting done. Well so right. if you're at, if you're at five you need three. If you're at six you need four. Right. If you're seven you need four. So it's a question of well, it's almost like if you're gonna do if you're gonna do six, you should do seven. Right. And it depends on how that comes back with the student. I just thought when our committee had more people on it, um, it was hard to keep it continual because different people could make meetings that they couldn't. Does that make sense? But the last two that came on the board were Ryan and Dave, and their resource and their knowledge has been yeah. it's I mean critical to the progress that we've been doing. Yep. Which has been great. I mean, losing her is going to be tough. Understandable, but tough. Um, I know in that, and <laughs> we, the way the board of selectmen operates is, you need three members to do anything. So that all five try to attend, but there's been a time when we couldn't. I couldn't go, and somebody else couldn't go, and the board still meets, and the board still votes, and the board still moves business. Boy doesn't stop because you don't have a whole board. As long as you have a quorum, oh, I know that. I mean, people want, and that's how you, you should approach it too. Is if you don't have a quorum, well, you can't meet if you don't have a quorum. But if you have, as soon as you meet that quorum, there's three people. We just, just all, we, we just do that. 
Well, the problem is if we have a student that works six anyway, then you're back a whole different thing. So you bring on a student now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying you're either going to be five, you're going to be seven. If we don't do the student and we stand, it's fine. But we also have to look and make sure we have people in the pipeline that are the great more. Yeah. Because the four of us, I'm not speaking to you three. I go, I've already had, I mean, all the pens. Yeah, right? Our, 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 this is our fourth, our fourth year right now. Yeah. So it's, we need to have some new people coming in here. Uh, I've said if I can get that job back in higher education, I don't know if my schedule is going to be like and what my availability is going to be like. Right. And I don't want to do that all of a sudden and say, yeah, I got a job two weeks later, and then I find that I have to leave. I don't want to do that. I want to ensure that people are like ready to do it. And that could happen. I mean, your market could change. So start you know, asking around something. people that you know that might be interested in this. Well, as far as a student rep, um, my daughter Erin's a teacher. She's an English teacher. Yeah. Right? But I, I also know one of the teachers that um, handles the uh, student community service for the high school, Karen Scott, one of the Spanish teachers. So oh, yeah. I think she's in charge of the uh, community service. That would be a good tap, the big community right. service. Right. And they would, that way a junior could make a choice or a sophomore could make a choice of saying, okay, I'm going to do my community service and this would be towards their hours. Yeah. So why don't you reach out to that person maybe at the first of the year I won't. and get somebody who can join. Yeah, I'll talk to Erin. Erin knows that they're really good friends. And so yeah. her and Jen, she talks to Jen all the time. So I'll just mention it to her. Uh, she going to be your daughter's friend? Uh, no, she was a judge. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Um, Erin is no, she's in Newburyport. Oh, she she's is? She's on the island. She's oh, okay. on 64th Street. She lives okay. on Plum Island. Yeah, she's over on 64th. She was, but she bought a house. So. All right, well, let's get an idea of what we're looking at. So, everybody has a to do list um, that we can do with right now. And then, uh, that's my last piece. Um, I don't think I'd be a plan to meet with you now in the first of the year. I'm on vacation for two weeks, so I don't feel like I'm going to be going to anybody. Um, the 13th is the day before the board of selectmen. It's a Monday. Are Monday still working for everybody? Or sure. Fortunately, the person had the problem Mondays with Mariah, so um, Mondays work out very well for me. You still good with that? Or? I'm still so good with Monday. I, I work at home on, on Mondays. Okay. So we can choose the 13th or the 27th, or the 13th or the 20th? 13th. Okay. Yep. Especially if we have this calendar set, so. And, and you get stuff for later. And I'll try to get these answers tomorrow and not Sunday. I'm not helpful. Right now, but yeah. 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 That's the battle. It is. What was the date, Mike? 13th. 13th of January. 6 o'clock? Yep. Make a motion we do N at 7 14. Okay. Discussion? Questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday and thank you to the public for the one or two people who probably watch this. <laughs>